more. I'm the Northwoods Carver, and thanks for seeing what I saw. Welcome back, everybody. It's Jeff Moore. It's the Jeff Moore Show, the showgram, the thing that is on YouTube that you're all looking at right now. I have no idea what the name is. If it's like Northwoods Carver Show or Jeff Moore thing, I don't know. But this week, we have a guest all the way from Manitoba, Canada. She drove 11 hours to come see me and hang out at the Mojo Dojo. We have Ian. Oh, it's Ian. And, uh, here we go. Uh, this is Hi. Say hi. Hi. How do you do? Good. Hey. I'm, I'm good, eh? I'm pretty, pretty, I'm pretty uh, awesome, right? Good then, eh? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. Thanks for having me. This hey. is awesome. My pleasure. I got a gift for you. Uh, yeah, I've been giving these out lately. That's a gift. It is the official Jeff Moore Northwoods Carver Mojo Dojo Get On Ya hat. And I'm going to try to offer these to the people that come here. And it's kind of the, the style hat that I wear. And it's it's like a good luck hat. And uh, I want you to have it. Thank you. This is so let's cool. It, let's see if the... So it's a good on you. You know why I call it a good on you? Because when you put it on, it looks good on you. <laughs> All right, everybody. So today we're going to go into a class where I'm going to show her uh, body mechanics. I'm sure you've seen it yeah. over on the other video. Where you do that. Your hips and your, you know, do stuff with your hands and your brain and the light. And, so that's the other thing. We're going to use light and shadow. Um, light and shadow, <laughs> and we're gonna figure all that stuff out because if you don't use, you don't know how to manipulate the light and the shadow when you're carving, everything just kind of turns up a little bit, well, nothing, zero zilch. It looks like kind of flat and uh, the grain takes over everything and then you, you're lost. And then when you, you know, it's, it's just more fun and more, oh. We need to exercise. We need to do our little body thing. Oh, okay. You start. Are you the instructor? I should have no. I should have never. Ninja board. Subway it's called. Board. It's called bacon tonic. We start our day with bacon tonic. <laughs> that was gin and tonic. Well, <laughs> that'll keep you loose. Gin, where, what do you guys do in Canada? Gin and tonic, bacon tonic. I see. I like the bacon part. I like bacon. I like. I don't like gin. All right, so. Bacon tonic exercise. Oh, would, like I want you to go ahead and lead the class. Okay. And uh, everyone, you're gonna do the Jeff take Moore. your take your living room furniture, set it aside. You're not gonna do the Jeff Moore thing because that's embarrassing. You're gonna do <laughs> the the end. Well, I thought we did the ninja boards. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna get in the way of this one, so uh, I'm just gonna step aside and then. Maybe I'll come in a little bit, and maybe I'll just, I'm going to step back and let her take over and then I'm going to try to do what she, I'm going to do what she does, all right? Everyone, so just, let's just uh, do the footage. Okay, so we're here with, um, would you mind telling people who, who you are so I don't have to? Deanne Holmes. Deanne Holmes, otherwise known as? Raven Woodcraft. Raven Woodcraft, all the way up from? Seddon's Corner, Manitoba, Canada. Seddon's, what was that? Seddon's. Seddon's. Seddon's Corner, Manitoba, Canada. I thought you said Satan's oh, Corner. Yeah. Satan's Corner. Right on. <laughs> so you yeah, you um you live like how many hours is that for you to drive down? Here? Uh, eleven hours. That's it. Yep. Eleven hours. That doesn't sound right. I drove. Uh, no, that's eight not eight hours. Right. Nine, it's nine, like nine, it's almost like, twelve hours. It's like eleven hours to get to South Dakota. Ten hours, something like that. No, I drove through Minnesota mostly. I just, well, I just, I just yeah, I just drive straight down through War Road and 
I thought maybe you just nodded off and then woke up and you're like, oh. No, I had a one pit stop at a family member in. So you're on the lower end of Manitoba. Yes. Okay, because I was going to say Manitoba. The southeast. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. So cool. So you you found me somehow. You must have watched a YouTube video or something of me and then. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I was just doing some YouTube watching. I you know I don't often do that, but you know what? Your 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 YouTube videos caught my eye, and honestly, it just hooked me. It was like a great TV show. The next thing you know, I'm watching you on the big oh screen, and I'm going, "This is awesome!" Like, yeah, I gotta see this know, guy. This I gotta see it on the big screen. screen. I'm old now, and you gotta see this guy. So, it it's been it's been a great experience, and and um, when watching your videos. I, I, I kept seeing the ones with all these great names that I knew mm -hmm. and then the one day you had somebody that was just like a Joe like me and most, I was going, wow. Most people are that have come here, um, you know, people know them from Facebook or something like that. But yeah. or, or, but then again, there's a lot of people that don't. So just, and, and I've had a lot of people that I didn't even do videos with. So, I mean, yes. Adrian Patro, he's been carving for a couple of years. Um, you know, and he's, he's, he just, he has his bed and breakfast and stuff and that's what he does. So, I mean, yeah. it's not like, you know, people are getting in line to come and, uh, hang out with me, but at the same time, the right type of people are coming and they're spending time and, and learning a few things and it does you don't have to be a pro carver, you know, you can just be, well, I prefer not to have super green carvers. I mean, I could arrange for it to have my students maybe teach them, but I like to have some. You have to have some skill, you know, so that that I can uh, I can you know mold or change or whatever. But if you go if you go like if you're super green, and then it's really hard because it's more of a like it's not an it's, I guess it's more of an advanced class. So you you know get all that stuff out of the way, then come see me. Yes. And then, I agree. Then we'll have to rework it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who taught you that? <laughs> who taught you that? Where did you learn that? Yeah, who showed you that? Oh, you watched my videos? Oh, never mind. He's <laughs> like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you watch my videos and that's why you're messed up. <laughs> All right. No, it was a reality check for me going, there's so much more that I need to learn. Yeah, there and, is. And for me, my biggest thing is learn and never stop. Yep. You know, at my age, people would think like, oh, when are you going to retire from this? And I'm like, no, not at all. Why do you have it's to retire? It's way too fun. I'll retire. I'm done. Like, I'm I'm semi-retired currently, <laughs> right now. <I'm, laughs> we're in this stupid little studio thing, and, and we're making this voiceover for a video. And it just seems like I've become a professional videographer slash interviewer slash so, kind of part-time woodcarver. And um, it's weird, but I like it. It's my, my life is starting to settle down, and I like it. I like it a lot. So so I continue to do it. Anyway, they're from Manitoba. Well, Keep it short. Just okay. Kidding. All right, time's Basically, up. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Forget. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lay it on us. Basically, um, became a hand carver and really enjoyed just doing small birds and that and competing in like the local um, carving shows and really just wanted to expand <clears throat> like my toolbox and that was a dangerous game because your toolbox when you decide to do become a yeah. chainsaw carver becomes extremely large it becomes a garage well see I, and I said it the last time I had somebody here uh, they design like people that don't know what to use are just buying tools. You know, they, they they don't even. They, oh, that looks cool. And basically, yeah. it's like fishermen buy lures um, that are very effective in catching fishermen, but not fish. Yeah. And so that's that's the dilemma. And I backed up. I backed up because I went to a smaller vehicle. So what it allowed me to do is rein in myself, and I. I reined in my tools and thinking, what am I actually using? Because I gotta mm. fit all this into a little tiny truck here. So what am I actually using? <laughs> and I realized that there were things that I never touch whenever yep. I do a little a show or whatever. I never touch these tools. Why am I wasting yeah. my toolbox space 
for that. So I've literally boiled it down to a toolbox, mm -hmm. a generator, my saws, a tent. Does it fit in your back of your truck? Absolutely. It fits in the back seat a lot of this stuff. And well, the back of the truck is... And you're doing it right. And I, I, I know, guys, there's some pros out there that literally have a rolling shop. Yeah. And they, they you know, they have to, obviously. Yeah. But... Um, they're professionals and they travel that's what they do they're they're like they're professional um com competitors and they're com yeah. you know and a lot of times they have enough gear for other people sometimes and uh they'll have all the arrays of paints and stuff because they're like i said they're professionals now mm -hmm. somebody like yourself you know you're a professional as well but you don't need you don't have all of that to yeah. you know you don't compete um professionally so yeah I really manage what I'm doing, and right. I don't know, I think that, I, I mean, I I've had scaffolding, but yeah. people supply the scaffolding, you know, there's those type of arrangements. But are there other carvers there, is what I'm saying? There's a ton of other carvers yeah, there. so these people, on what I'm talking about, don't have, there's nobody else there, they're, they're just putting on a, yeah. a thing for themselves, so there's no one to lean on, so they gotta have, like when I go, I, I pack, my, everything fits in my truck, like just like here, and yeah. I don't have a very big truck. No. So I, I have the bare necessities and I have a couple extras of each thing maybe sometimes and yeah. the paints that I'm going to use, uh, compressor, generator, you know, phone yeah. charger. And sometimes I don't need the yeah the phone charger is the most important yes. part of the of the basket there. Yeah, and, and then, then you, you get never it. use it and you're going okay. Or it's not what you thought it would be. Right. So going back to your story, uh, what got you started is the hand carving. The hand carving got me started. Um, uh, what were you I'm doing? a I'm a forty year I'm a forty year dental assistant okay. who's carving in a in a lab, and a woman comes up to, that works at the office and says like, hey, you know, you look like a pretty good carver. Would you like to do? Would you be interested what the hell in doing were you a carving duck? in a lab? A tooth. <laughs> Are you? Wait, whoa, whoa. I was carving back, a wait, tooth wait, to wait, shape wait. it to the proper. Back, back up. Oh, on so a model. okay. On a model. All right. So you weren't carving it into a bear or something. No, I was just carving it into a tooth. And a this shape. woman comes up and she goes, I carve ducks. Would you like to carve duck? And I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. I think that's cool. So she went to her group oh and said, Diane wants to come to our group. And they said, we don't want her. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone that's watching this. <laughs> She's carving a tooth. She's. And, and this woman says, the group doesn't want you. Maybe we could carve in my yard. Why? I, why doesn't the group want you? They just thought I'd be a burden to their, their man group or something. I don't know. <laughs> so do you do you want to always just strive for accuracy, or do you want to express yourself? Oh, I like to express myself. Okay, so that's where the color comes in. That's where the textures come in. You'll learn some textures here that you can apply. So basically, I'm I'm not teaching you how to, um, I'm not teaching you how to carve something I'm teaching how to carve everything yeah with the different techniques so you'll be able to take those and apply those to everything that you carve that's the that's the nature of the course okay so little excursion today instead of taking the truck we're gonna jump on hang on So, so today we're, it's a beautiful day and we're, we've decided, um, well, I've decided to take uh, uh, Deanne to Wisconsin River Meats and we were going to take the truck and then I thought, man, it's so nice. Would you like to take a Harley ride with me out to Wisconsin River Meats? And of course, she accepted. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. She's not, she's down for this. So it's been, how long has it been since you've been on a bike? Oh my God. I'm going to say... 30 years. 30 years? And so uh, it's, it'll be my privilege to take her out on Holy Roy. So stick around and uh, let's see how this thing unfolds. We had a blast, y'all. I mean, we we took a ride and she'd never been um, anywhere out here, really. So we decided, I guess we, at least not in this area. So I took her through Amish country and went to... Wisconsin River Meats, and she picked a bunch of things up there. We went to Car Valley Cheese. She picked up a bunch of stuff there. She just picked up a bunch of stuff everywhere we went. And we kind of uh, isolated our time. Um, 
in a good way. So she had the most learning experience that she that we could have. And then we took breaks and did fun stuff. So here is where we ended. We ended our journey right here at Katie's Pub and Grub in Oxford, Wisconsin. Check it out, folks. Pizza's dope. I we'll learned so to much. See you leave, I learned but... so much this week. Oh my god, my brain is full. Um, like the the table talk was probably the best because sometimes people need that. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes. You need to get through your stuff. Sometimes they think they don't, but they really do. Yeah. Undoing some. Like, I'm not gonna say they're bad habits, but they're the only habits you know. So. Mm -hmm. you can't beat yourself up for something. Like yeah. That. No. And, uh, and I mean. You know what you know, and that's how we started. You only know what you know, and now I know a little different things, so it's even better. So I just completely confused her and sent her on her way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> isn't she adorable? Yeah.